My name is Irene Alice. I'm from Kitui County. And I'm currently studying at Grand Valley State University doing my master's degree in data science and analytics. My name is Humphrey Mairura, one of the students here at the University of Alabama in Huntsville, uh, pursuing my master's in business analytics. So my name is Lona Mothengi. I am a student at the Indiana University of Pennsylvania pursuing an MBA in supply chain management. You know what I always say, like this journey has always been like, um, you know, a journey from point A to point like Z. And now, first from the moment you finished the GMAT exams, the moment you went to the embassy and you got your visa, and now comes to a point now when you are graduating, that's another milestone on the uh, out of the way. So I can say, yeah, the journey is on course. And uh, yeah, it's, it's quite an achievement now to, to actually finish. Yeah. and. Uh, I'm excited. The application process was easy after passing my GMAT. I did my statement of purpose and then I got admission to Grand Valley State University. Like the program catered for the application process and everything until the moment that I got my admission. Then we applied for my student loan and then I was able to go for a visa interview with a couple days of coaching with Mr. Bob Mwiti who helped me a lot make sure who made sure that my visa got approved for the first time it was actually my first time going to the embassy and it went well and i managed to get here my experience well first i had a very not very pleasant experience especially with the weather because when we came the temperatures would go as low as negative six degrees, something I wasn't used to back in Kenya. So the experience then wasn't so good in, in terms of weather and the food here. Oh my God, the food, ooh. <laughs> and I, don't, I still don't like most American foods, but the good thing is that um, there are African stores where we can get unga ugali, we can also get uh, chapati unga um, and other stuff from Kenya, though not all of them. You are watching Success with Bob Mwiti Show, presented to you by the Kenya Airlift Program. The Kenya Airlift Program is an award-winning education financing scheme that helps bright Kenyan students to pursue graduate studies in North America, regardless of their financial background. You can find our programs by going to www.kenyaairliftprogram.com The Kenya Airlift Program, empowering dreams. The classes have been good, the course has been easy, the school has been very supportive, like getting accommodation, getting started with classes, even the pocket money to buy most of the stuff like when you get here you have to get yourself a new phone you have to get yourself a laptop and everything the program like made sure that we had all we needed to get started with classes so it has been easy i have i have I've been exposed to a couple things at grand valley being that i had a for graduate assistantship, which I had applied back in Kenya with the guidance from Wilfred and most of the students that were in Grand Valley, they guided me in applying for graduate assistantship. I applied and got a full graduate assistantship which get us for my tuition as well as my as well as my living expenses. I get paid like a stipend at the end of the month that I can use to pay my rent and maybe cater for other bills. It is usually enough. So am I at my job at school, I work with the student services at the student services building, which is like the admission office. I am like a developer. I'm developing a non-based workflow system that is made to automate the records at the university, especially the registrar's office. Ah, uh, no, no, not really scared. Uh, we've created enough connections, and uh, with the program being a community, we know you are not alone. Yeah, you will never walk alone, so we are sure that uh, after this the experience will be good uh for the last uh, one year I've, I've been working as a data analyst intern for this office so what we do here is normally getting student data and um 
like for reporting purposes, giving also data to departments when they're requested, reporting for FIDRO and all other data regarding student performance, uh, enrollment and all those uh, kind of details. Uh, apart from that, I'm also a graduate assistant uh, at this College of Business where we also help instructors with uh, uh, setting up quizzes, uh, grading examinations, yeah, general uh, general work with the professors. Everything worked really well. We came, uh, we were the first KUP students to come here, me and three other students. And um, so that create, in itself created a community, just a small community for ourselves. But we also found an amazing family here and a few students, one more student from Kenya, a family from Kenya, a student from Tanzania, some few students from Uganda, Ghana, Nigeria, who are very, very helpful in terms of giving us rides, advice here and there, because here, again, without a car, it's crazy, crazy, crazy. But uh, we also got that support, the professors as well. Oh my God, we found the best professors here. Dr. Prashant, Dr. Pramas, they have been really helpful. They are more like fathers to us than the young professors, you know, in terms of guiding us through the coursework and also through adapting to this foreign place. You know, when you come here, you really need all the support we needed. But uh, they gave us all that support, which was really plausible for them. They are still supporting us. Um, in terms of my in-class experience, it has been incredible. Uh, for example, so our classes, I think we range from maybe 20 to 30 students, which is a really manageable class. And the professors show interest with every student. They know us by name. Uh, in the corporate world, I'm looking forward to becoming a data analyst because this is something I've learned uh, from this office and also from in class. So um, I had the rare opportunity actually of putting to practice what I learned in class to uh, what I'm doing in my daily job. So I'll want to continue with the same. And uh, now coming to mostly I want to focus now on uh, BI engineering. That's business intelligence engineering where it can uh, help like data scientists, uh, machine learning engineers, to get the exact data. So we mine the data, we extract it, transform it into a usable form. That is uh, my area of interest now going to the corporate world. You have been watching Success with Bob Mwiti Show, brought to you by the Kenya Airlift Program. Come back again next time to learn concepts, tools, strategies, and resources on the path of becoming a successful immigrant in North America through real life experiences. Be sure to subscribe to the Kenya Airlift Program YouTube channel and also follow us on Facebook, X, Instagram, TikTok, and LinkedIn.